I think the west side is a lot better than the east side. Because <laughs> to me, when I associate with my people on 20th, I understand where they're coming from too, because they are survivors like me. I ended up in this area years ago. I was into drugs and alcohol really bad. I've put millions of dollars into each leg, my neck, each hand, and I can't do it anymore. I came from an upper class family and then I moved into one of the uh, neighborhoods that they considered core in this town. I'd stay here permanently. Like I love the neighborhoods. I grew up in this neighborhood. Our family accessed services in this community. We got our food from the food bank. You're able to understand their needs and their quality of life. You've got to aim to accept yourself first or they accept you. I've got a much more positive attitude of my own neighborhood because of Switch, um, by getting to know the people in the neighborhood. Welcome to Saskatoon's West Side. This is where Switch operates out of the West Side Clinic. Switch is the student wellness initiative toward community health. We are a student-run, interprofessional, primary health care center that works with healthcare care professionals and community partners to serve the residents of Saskatoon's core neighborhoods. It's a program where they teach the next generation of doctors, nurses, social workers, where they send students to the west side to learn from us. It's just like a stepping stone to their career. Switch is responding to real needs in Saskatoon. We're striving to, to see a community in need and provide what services we can and to learn in return from that community. And we're doing so in a way that's educating students, we're doing it in a way that provides community service, and we're doing so in a way that um, is utilizing our interprofessional environment. SWITCH began after um, learning a little bit about a project which had been started in Vancouver a number of years ago called Chias. A small group of us uh, decided, you know, this might be something that fit in Saskatoon, a much smaller scale, but some of the same social problems, some mm -hmm. of the same disconnection between life at the university and life in the core neighborhoods. Certain segments of your population are faced with larger challenges around health and the social determinants of health than other po parts of the population. We're talking about a community that's disproportionately impacted by poverty. So anytime you're talking about a disproportionate impact of poverty, you're also talking about health issues. Many of the people that we work with have, have bigger, some bigger challenges uh, on many different levels than some of uh, you know, the other uh, parts of the city. West Side neighborhoods are underserved and consist of people from all walks of life. Through the support of our partners, the University of Saskatchewan, the Saskatoon Community Clinic, Saskatoon Health Region and Primary Health Care, SWITCH is able to provide after-hours health care, health promotion, and education to the residents of Saskatoon's core neighborhoods. SWITCH also provides valuable service learning experiences for students. There seemed to be two areas where our education was lacking and one of them was learning more about sort of issues I guess of social justice, the determinants of health, um, how people's environment impacts their health status and the second was around interprofessional practice. When I was a student we would have service learning days and it was someone who was very healthy, who, someone who just came in and was presented on paper with a problem and then had to ad-lib and pretend. A service learning environment like Switch enables the students to have a very good sense of what is actually happening in the community. Very, very real. The whole idea behind Switch is to work as an interprofessional team. So you have um, professionals from different backgrounds come together to work on one case. They help me deal with my issues like drinking. Health-wise, they're teaching me how to eat properly, how to take my medication properly. There's a real strength in being able to sit side by side with social workers and pharmacists and physicians, uh, nurses and dietitians, and then to bring students into that mix. And they have a different perspective than I think people who've been out in the field for a while. So really having it happen at every level, there's this strength that's created that ultimately results in better outcomes for the people who are accessing a service. I remember someone came in, of course, asking to see the doctor and the person had diabetes and forgot their insulin at home. In fact, they were homeless and for the last two nights had been sleeping in a phone booth and uh, 
hadn't had anything to eat, so regardless of what we did with this person's insulin, it wasn't going to help if they're still sleeping in a phone booth and had nothing to eat. So the social worker found them a shelter and found them a place to get a hot meal. At the same time, we knew they didn't have their insulin, so I was phoning a pharmacy to get a supply. Uh, all at the same time, that the RN taught them how to inject the new insulin, and the physician did an assessment and made sure they were medically well and their blood sugar wasn't too high. I just remember thinking, if this person just came to a walk-in clinic somewhere, that whole process would have probably taken three weeks and a lot of it probably would have never been addressed and we addressed it within an hour and at the same time we had food in the front and he got a snack here to eat because he was hungry. Oh, I think the uh, fact that there are so many people just hanging out in the waiting room, having snacks or just having interactions, conversations, is also a sign that Switch is fulfilling something for the community, whether it be like a safe place or a conversational place to come to or a place that they can receive services. Have fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Switch provides a variety of programs, most of which came out of um, client ideas, um, things that we just saw missing in the services that we provided. There's a great need for things like good food programs, sharing circles, good quality health services, but also for fun and leisure and beauty and aesthetic. The wonderful attendance that we've seen and the people who keep coming back is what I see as the greatest impact of the programming component of Switch. I think one of the unique things in the setting at Switch is, is just this emphasis on not just the physical health of the people who come here. We also then add in a component of spirituality and understanding that people aren't just physical beings, that they do have emotional, mental and spiritual needs as well, and bringing in the cultural component to our work. What we do here is I smudge the students. I think it's very important for the students to come and, and see what we're all about, you know, as Aboriginal people. Often when volunteers come to the orientation, they bring all those stereotypes with them. So they're concerned about their car, they're concerned about walking back and forth to their car, how do they get to the shift, and how those stereotypes are challenged by sitting in the, in the waiting room and having a conversation to somebody who's lived in the community their whole life. I sit at the front here and I greet them and I talk to them. I kind of tease them and it's like they're part of my family. And that's the way you're supposed to take these people because they don't have that trust in other people. I was scared and uh, back then, you know, people found out you were a drug user, you're a second class citizen. I was sick and I needed to see my doctor and then I met Carol and I liked what she was doing. She said lots about changing my lifestyle, that I needed help or I was gonna die. We love you, Switch loves you, she said. I know, I know, I know. And I'd go back out and use. And then I finally realized she was right. No, not, nobody at Switch gave up on me. <laughs> The shift supervisor's role is to kind of be the gateway and a key point um, for the clients. All our tasks with, we're ready to see you. So they're going to bring in the clients and, and just find out what, what the needs are of that particular time. And the point is to provide the best uh, clinical team for that client. They look at the file and come up with some sort of a game plan and there's some discussion amongst the students and mentors as to, you know, what they should look for or things that they should ask and how to best approach um, the situation. Traditionally, when people think about the situation we have at Switch, they see the physician or the mentor as the leader of the team. I personally don't really agree with that. I think each and every one has some role to play in the team and that maybe the physician or one of the other mentors are just facilitating the process. Because you're not receiving a mark from these mentors, um, there's a little bit more of a relaxed atmosphere and you're kind of looked upon more sort of as peers than a teacher-student relationship, which you find in a school. 
And so it just creates for a more relaxed atmosphere to be able to share information and ask questions and not being worried and not worried about um, being looked at critically as a student. Here, use my hospitalization card. Okay. That was nice of them. Okay. And are you on any other medications besides? Well, During a normal that? shift, you would have the students go and see the patients, and they would come and discuss their findings with the mentor or the physician. And at the end, the whole team comes up with a management plan that we can bring back to the patient. Towards the end of the shift, we start our debrief session. That you'd like to say, please say it so. And so everyone has a chance to talk about how the shift went. Uh, some, some was shadowing me and, and... and whether it's on shift or, or after a shift, we want to make this the most positive experience as possible for everyone who's down here, not just the clients, but the students and mentors as well. Some heels to go with There's it. some heels, yeah. yeah. I'm finishing school now. I just convocated and I'm leaving the city to, to move on to do my residency. And, um, and I, and I can say with complete sincerity that Switch will be one of the things that I miss the most. It's, I just can't express quite how much it has meant to me and, and I hope that it will be that way for others. And I would say just come down and do it. Everybody here is super friendly and once you actually get down here and do it, it's a lot easier to find the time to do it and it really does supplement your learning. That hands-on experience just can't be beat. Um, getting that real life application for what you're learning is there you can't put a price tag on that it'll make your transition into the workforce a lot i think a lot easier just because you have that experience and all that advice i can go back to dealing with my day-to-day -day things much easier after i've been been at switch done a shift um, help someone else through a troubled time it helps me you know relieve some of my stress by helping people and doing something constructive for the community. It will give you a different perspective on what's possible, on uh, how what we often talk about and dream about can actually become real. Go to Switch, see what it's all about. I guarantee you'll love it. Switch is just like something you can, you can uh, rely on. I started to see Switch starting to change a lot of people's life, especially for me. I'm finally straight now, and I'm finally starting to come out from the dark. I'm looking at success and maybe turning some other people's heads. The Student Wellness Initiative Toward Community Health has become an example for communities in its approach and through its programs. Switch changes lives, and it will change yours too.